I forgot to prime my eyes. <laughs> what I do is go in with some th th Shout out to all my Games of Thrones fans out there. Wait, that's not right. A wine and a nice crisp quiff. <sighs> I'm really tired. Okay, I just wanted to show. We are back in Better Than Ever with another fall tutorial. I'm so excited to be showing you guys how I achieved this look today. This is just the epitome of me and everything. I just want to live in this look right here. I love warm tones. I love golds. I love dark lips. I love everything about fall makeup. Oh my god, it just gives me life. So I'm so excited to be filming this video for you guys today. And before we get started, I just want to say a huge thank you. I cannot believe we hit 700 subscribers. I am in shock. We actually hit 700 while I was filming this video. So I just want to say a huge thank you for everyone who has taken the time out of their day to subscribe to my channel And for those of you who watch my videos, I am just so grateful So thank you so much and please share my channel with anyone you think would like it And if you aren't already subscribed, please do subscribe. It would mean a lot to me So with that being said, let's jump into today's makeup tutorial So the first thing I'm going to do is pick up some scotch tape, not sponsored <laughs> And I'm going to line this up on my outer corner The reason why I'm going in with tape is because I really want to have a sharp smoky eye today but I also want to make sure that the liner is sharp I just line up with the arch of my brow and then bring that down to my lower lash line and then just press that down there I forgot to prime my eyes <laughs> normally I would prime my eyes before doing this because it's just easier but I forgot to do that because I'm very tired today if you haven't noticed I don't know if I look tired or sound tired but your girl is freaking exhausted I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer I just like to use use this for primer because since it's a full coverage concealer it just helps to cancel out any darkness or pigmentation on my lid and it helps these shadows come out true to color. I'm just going to take a little bit of my Airspun Translucent Powder and just use this to set the lid here so that any of the shadows that I put down over top of this don't get patchy and stick to that concealer. Since it is wet, if you do go in with shadows right away, it makes it super hard to blend. So just setting your lid really helps to make your shadow process a lot easier. I'm going to pick up the shade Riff and put this into my upper crease and transition area as my first transition shade. actually going to dip into one of my favorite Makeup Geek shadows. This shade right here is in the shade Cherry Cola and I'm going to put this onto the outer corner because the shade that I was working with from the Urban Decay palette just wasn't dark enough for what I want in this outer corner. So I'm just working this right into this very outer corner here just to build some more depth and definition but also to keep with the berry tone that we're going for. What I'm going to do now is dip into the shade Ignite and I'm going to put that onto the center of my lid in between that inner corner and the outer corner. Now I'm going to pick up the shade Stranded and I am going to spray my brush with some MAC Fix Plus and I'm going to pack that onto the inner corner. Alright, so now I'm going to do some wing liner using my Morphe Gel Liner in the shade Slate. Ooh girl, that's what I'm talking about. Alright, so we are going to step away from the eyes for a minute and move on to the face. So the first thing I'm going to do is prime, and for primer today I will be using my NYX Angel Veil Primer. Really? Damn it. Where is this coming from? Oh my god. So I'm going to use one of my all-time favorite foundations today. This is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. It gives the perfect amount of coverage, but it feels so lightweight on the skin and looks perfectly like skin. You can't even tell you're wearing makeup. It just has the most beautiful finish and I freaking love it. I am going to apply this with my Stands Out Beauty Sponge. I'm just going to be using this dry today, partly because I'm too lazy to go wet it. I'm not even going to lie to you guys, but also because this sponge is the only sponge that I like to use dry and it was formulated to be able to use wet or dry, so this sponge is where it's at. 
I'm just going to go back in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and use this under my eyes and down the center of my face to brighten my face up. What I'm going to do is pick up my Airspun Loose Powder. I'm going to use this powder to set my under eye and the center of my face. I'm going to set the rest of my face with my Bare Minerals Bare Pro Powder. For contour today, I'm going to use the middle shade in my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. This is the shade Fawn, and I am going to contour my cheekbones, my temples, and my jawbone with this. For bronzer today, I'm going to pick up my Too Faced Chocolate Gold Soleil bronzer. This stuff just smells so freaking good. I love this bronzer because it has a very nice sheen to it and it's nice and buildable. For blush today, I'm going to be using my Sonia Kashuk blush in the shade Flamingo. I'm going to spray my face with some MAC Fix Plus, and then I'm going to be applying my Laura Geller Highlight in the shade Gilded Honey. Okay, and now because I feel bald and it's literally driving me crazy, I'm going to go in and fill my brows in. Today I'm going to be using my Benefit Groof, Groof Proof, that's not right, my Benefit Groof Oh my goodness. My Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. It just makes it so much easier to do your brows since it already has an arched or angled shape to it. Alright, so to finish off the eyes, what I'm going to do is go in and line my lower waterline. What I'm going to do is take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the shade Chocolate and I am going to line my lower waterline with this. I'm going to pick up the shade Hellride on a flat shader brush. I'm going to press this very tightly up against my lower lash line and then I'm going to blend it out with a bit of that Double Life shade. I just want to mimic my lid and just reincorporate these shades back into that lower lash line. For mascara today, I will be using my NARS Climax Mascara. For lashes today, I'm going to be using my Nilo Cosmetics Lashes in the style Aria. Shout out to all my Game of Thrones fans out there. Leave a comment down below if you watch Game of Thrones because your girl is really freaking obsessed like winter is coming. If you guys watch Game of Thrones, leave a comment down below because I'm quite frankly obsessed and also let me know who your favorite character is because I'm curious and knowing. Oh my god, <laughs> we just hit 700 subscribers, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> look, oh my god, what is going on, seriously you guys, I'm like, I can't stop smiling, <laughs> thank you guys so much for 700 subscribers, this is absolutely insane, I, I can't even thank you guys enough, this is so crazy, thank you so much for subscribing, alright, so now what I'm gonna do is put a quick coat of mascara onto my lower lashes, so for the lips today, I want to show you guys two different lip looks because this look is relatively neutral in the sense that it doesn't have any kind of crazy colors. I want to show you guys a nude option and then a color lipstick option. So for the nude lip today, I'm going to be using my Dose of Colors Liquid Lip in the shade Nude Chica. I just love this so much. It is the perfect nude. So this right here is the first option. This is just a nude lip. You can add gloss over top of this, add in liner or whatever you would like. I just love this lip color so much. It is my ideal perfect nude and I just wanted to show you guys what it would look like with this makeup look. The second option I'm going to be showing you guys today is one of my all-time favorite deep dramatic lipsticks. This is the Too Faced Melted Matte Lipstick in the shade Drop Dead Red. It is this beautiful red wine shade right here. It is perfect for fall and I'm just going to line my my lips with a lip liner and then apply this all over. Yeah. 
Alright, so this is the second option for the lip. I just wanted to show you guys something that was super dramatic and super fall. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me out so much. Feel free to leave comments on what kinds of look... Wait, what? <laughs> Feel free to leave some comments down below on what kinds of looks you would like to see from me in the future. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you join this squad we've got going here on YouTube. So with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one.